Hello, it's me, Sharp B, and I'm back um, with another video. I'm just going to um, go over this video as about um, my books that I currently have out on Amazon.com. There's two books that I've written so far um, that I would like to go over really quick to get you guys interested in purchasing them. These books are great stories of real people um, situations. So the, 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 the books, they're fictional characters. I know I keep saying nonfiction, but they're fiction books. So the characters are fictional. Um, it's based on some of my experiences and some of it is just based on straight up brain creativity of creation from my mind um, that I thought seemed like something I needed people to understand and read and to read these type of stories so that they can a little bit understand what some people may be going through. So some of these books may be relatable in your situation or someone that you might have known situation, but me, the author, I just like to write easy read, read books, fast reads, so that people can really get into their mind, get into their creativity, and build the creation of being these characters and what they would actually do um, if you were these characters. Like, what feelings do you get? What emotions do you get? And if you ever got in this situation, what would you do? So basically these stories are telling you about yourself. And if you were to get in any of these situations, how would you do it differently? Would you do it the same way these characters did it? Or would you do it different? So it's basically telling the story of making decisions, being um, making good decisions. And with my books, I don't really tell people anything about um, what you should get from it it's up to you so however you see these characters some of the characters I describe some of them I don't I like for people to get their own imagination of what they believe the characters look like for themselves it's to build imagination and creativity for yourself and act like that you're in these situations and that you're with these characters and they're your friends they become your family so my books um, are based upon being honest. Um, these characters um, have trouble with being honest. And the whole factor and what I'm trying to teach is by being honest that good things will happen. Sometimes you don't have to lie or deceive or be deceitful to people to get your way. And these books pretty much tell you some lessons or give you some lessons about what happens when you lie. And these are real situations that actually happen to people that have not told the truth or was very dishonest. And this this is a drama that comes from your lies. So these books are pretty much talking about that. So let me show you the first one. And I, I'm going to do it. I already did a video on this book. Um, and I'm going to do the, the video on the second one as well. But let's start this one. So we got the book here, The Story of Marissa Ray by Shara B. Y'all see me? Shara B. Yes, this book is my first book. And I've already did like a whole story about what's happening on it. Um, we can go over it again for those that didn't see the video. Um, the story of Marissa Ray is a fictional story about a black woman in her mid-30s who is struggling with relationships with her family and friends. Marissa has a misunderstanding of where she lies in society as a black businesswoman who is trying to make it big in a top number one fashion magazine. She is an African-American fashion designer from San Diego but moved to New York City to succeed in her business and to get away from her family. This story is a tale about lust, deceit, and betrayal. This the um, book also contains various controversial subjects and language of how different races may or may not portray one another. The age restriction for this book is 18 and over. So the story must be read by Sharp B. So this book, pretty much in a nutshell, is telling a story about a black businesswoman. She's African American from, from San Diego that moves to New York to um, get into her fashion business. So it's just talking about how um, she gets started in that. And her friends, or who she thinks are friends, or 
I, you got to read the book. So it's basically talking about this woman and how she's portrayed in big business and where she's from, what her name is, what she's trying to do. Marissa's pretty confused. Marissa, um, she doesn't know what she wants to do. And in this book, it clearly shows that she's just over the top. I mean, she's got baby daddy issues. She's uh, married and she's messing around and she, it's she's all over the place. So that's just a little bit of information I'll give you about the book so that it can kind of engage you to kind of read it so that you can get this concept on your own. It also is erotica. So I'll let you guys look up that word, what erotica means. It's urban erotica and the characters are African-American and I do also have Caucasian characters in my books as well. So I don't discriminate when it comes to ethnicity or anything like that because I've been on both sides so I write about both things so anybody can read this book it's, it's talking about the story of anyone that may be in her situation I don't care what race you are probably mostly minority may have more issues like she had but I'm pretty sure that there's um, majorities that have had these same situations and have been confused being in corporate America. So this book would be great, a great read for somebody that's uh, in business and having, you know, issues that are drama on the side. So if you are one of those people that are all, you look so good in corporate America, but then in the background, it's kind of ghetto. Okay, this is a great book for that. All right, so the second book I'm going to talk about is my second book. And this book just came out. This book just dropped in the middle, like, in the, the beginning of May. I just I just got this book together, and we had some great issues with it, but we finally got it out, and um, I finally got it done. And, and guys, this, this is from my creativity. This is from my mind. None of this is really... Um, anything I've act actually experienced. This is my creativity from my mind. So I just have a very creative mind in this books. I want you guys to get and have the creativity as me. Some of the characters I explain in detail and some I don't. And I do that on purpose because I want you to have your own vision of what you think these characters look like or what they feel like. Or I want you to really get into the story and make these characters your friends make these characters your family like what would you do in these situations or what would you tell these people when you when you see these situations or have you been in these situations so the next book I want to talk about is my newest book which is the James keep telling you guys about the James game and this one is the James Game by Shard B. As you can see, it's an African-American male with the gold teeth. And this is what James is about. Um, so let's read about what the James Game is about. All right. The James Game, um, the story, the James Game is the story about a man named James Ellis Harper. James is an attractive black man who lives in San Diego, California, and his grandparents' hotel. James was raised by his single mother, Maria Harper, who was cut off by her parents for being pregnant with James and losing her family's royalties. James is confused about his sexual preference, preference and has many sexual partners. In this story, <laughs> this story tells the secrets of the player's game through the eyes of James Harper. This story is filled with passion, deception, and suspense. It's time for James to make the greatest decision in his life. How will he choose? So this book... <laughs> really guys is this one's a deep one um this one came from me um wanting to write as in my ma in a masculine form so i'm i'm i've been a, i was raised by a man so i was raised by my father so um being around guys was pretty much how I lived and that's probably why I got the more tomboy ghetto whatever so I was raised around men so I'm very I'm more masculine and feminine so in this book I wanted to bring out my masculinity um, to write and show myself that I could write as a man or a male character so this book is written in masculine so this is a story about a man who actually speaks about his life what he's going through his tr tr his troubles his struggles and um how he's living his life and james is very confused he's been through a whole bunch of stuff and um it's it, it just goes from there i mean 
But I, I'll just say the James game. What do you think that means? The James game. He's playing games. These are James's games. These are games that James plays. And a lot of these men or women or anybody could be playing these types of games and doing this type of stuff and not realizing what it does to people. It seems like in the book, James, I'm not going to really say about my opinion. I would like for you guys to read it. And then one day I'll do a whole sum up of my opinion of what the book and what I was trying to tell um, about the character. I've read the book like 40 times. Of course I had to because I had to do all the editing. But the book is really good. I really love it. I read it in about two days and I was busy. But I was able to read it because it's a fast read and it's very interesting. So this book is mostly about James games. James is a drug dealer. So if anybody's offended by drug dealing and all of that stuff, then um, you may want to stir away from this book. But if you're interested in learning about a drug dealer's life, you can read this and, and pretend you're the drug dealer without being a drug dealer. You can put yourself in his situation and pretend it's you. I mean, you can be one of these corporate America people, but then read this book and be James for a day or for the days that it takes for you to read it and just put yourself in that character's shoes. Sometimes it's good to read a book, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't have to put yourself in that situation for real. You can like read the book and then put yourself in that situation. You wasn't even there, but in your imagination, you were there and then you be like, oh my God, and you can start feeling like you're really there. And then what would you really do? I mean, you probably in corporate America or wherever you work, think that, oh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But if you actually were there, look at what James did. Look what James does and see if this is something that, you know, how would you have made a better decision being in his position? Put yourself in this place. So this book is very interesting. If you're looking um, to learn, if you are interested in drug dealing and not really want to be a drug dealer, but you want to read about it, or you can secretly read it like, shh, you know you can read it on your phone, right? You can read it on your phone, right? Nobody got to know you're reading it. And keep it to yourself. And just read the book and put yourself in his place. And then just think about it. Sometimes if people from other cultures put themselves in other culture situations, they can see what other cultures are going through. And since I'm a black woman, of course, I was raised by a black man. So I'm pretty experienced in that area. So in this book, it's about a black man. And if people of different ethnicities don't understand black men, well, maybe you should read this book. And that could probably highlight it a little bit. Now, this is pretty negative and dramatized. This isn't how black men really are. But it's an example of some of the black men. And you can put yourself in this situation and really read about him and see that, see if you can resonate with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just feel like, you know, we need to put this information out for everybody. This isn't a book for just African American or black people. This book is for anybody that wants to understand and wants to see or be in these positions. So don't try to just say, well, it's an African American book. I don't want to read it. You can read it. It doesn't matter. Um, everybody can be in a situation. So since we all live on this planet, we're all here, um, and I'm going to do a video about certain demographics and ethnicity and everything like that. But at this point, we're all here. So read these books and just get some knowledge, get some information. And you don't have to tell everybody you're reading it. I mean, if you feel scared or whatever, or don't want nobody knowing that you read books, um, so what? I mean, I don't care. I'll read whatever in front of anybody. I used to read Sweet Valley High back in the um, 80s when I was a kid. And I always wanted to be Jessica and her sister, Elizabeth. So I love those stories. And, and a lot of people be like, well, those are white girls. I don't care. I always thought I wanted to be Elizabeth and Jessica. They had the blonde hair, blue eyes. They were cute. They were Valley girls. And I thought I was their friend. Like, hey, girl, come on. So it doesn't matter what color, whatever. It, just read some books and put yourself in these situations to understand. So then we can probably come together as a people, as a human people, no matter what color or whatever we are, and resonate with each other. Okay? You do that favor for me? Okay? You don't have to be black to read these books. 
but I would encourage black people to read these books because I want to encourage black people to read since we do not read. This would be a great, excellent start to start with my books because they are simple reads and you can get through them pretty quickly. And then this can also help you with your vocabulary to where you can start reading the more difficult books like the Stephen Kings and um, the more difficult books. Um, that are a little bit more difficult to read. This can get you started. This can get your literacy up. You know what I'm saying? Reading these books will get your literacy up, but it's it, it's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to read. It's not difficult at all. So get you guys, get my books. Come on, come on. I need you to get my books. Here you go. Once again, the story of Marissa Ray and the James game. Come on, you see him? All right. So, um... I hope you guys um, are interested. My next book could be about me. So of how I survived and succeeded in my relationship, my abusive relationship, and how I'm telling you to stay with the toxic person and why. All right. All right, well, that's all I have to say today. So thank you so much for staying on the video and listening to the end. Um, please like and subscribe and share on my YouTubers channel. Um, Thank you for everybody that has subscribed and um, it's encouraging me to be great and continue doing what I do and giving the world this information um, just to help the world. Thank you so much. You guys take care and please, please remember the three L's. What are the three L's? Life, love, and literacy.